During the production of French fries, crisps and flakes, a considerable amount of starch is released from the potatoes. Sicadania is Europe's leading supplier of starch recovery units in the potato processing industry. Sicadania offers tailor-made solutions for both the very small local potato processors and the big multinational companies worldwide. Potatoes are fed to a hydro cutting system where they pass through a cutting grid to produce french fries, slices and wedges. During this cutting process, starch, small pieces of potato and fibers are released in the cutting water system. French fries are washed to clean them from starch and other particles. After the cutting process, the fluid with coarse particles and fibers enters the cutting water tank. From here, the fluid will be pumped to the refining sieve. The process water with starch and fines enter the sieve drum, while the solids are pushed along to the far end of the drum with the aid of a ribbon screw. Finally, the solids leave the refining sieve to be further processed or discharged. The processed water leaves the drum through the sieve lining and is collected in the buffer tank underneath. The processed water inclusive starch enters the hydrocyclones. Starch is separated from the water by centrifugal forces. Upstream, clean processed water is released and is returned to the process. Downstream, concentrated starch is released. This is the result of a good working starch recovery system. On the left-hand side, you see the starch-rich processed water. In the middle, you see clean processed water without starch. On the right-hand side, you see the concentrated starch from the hydrocyclone. To save water, the cleaned processed water can be reused as processed water for potato cutting, cleaning or destoning. Water saving up to 70% is possible, which results in significant cost savings and contributes to sustainability goals. The concentrated starch milk from the hydrocyclones can be further dewatered with the aid of one of the following options. Dewatering using a special container or dewatering using a vacuum filter. The first option, dewatering using a special container. The concentrated starch milk is sent to a truck container. When the container is full, it will be picked up and transported to another location for further processing. This option is only feasible when the starch processor is in the proximity of the customer's production site. As a second option, the starch can be dewatered by a vacuum filter. Starch slurry from the hydrocyclones enters the slurry tank of the rotating vacuum filter. By applying vacuum to the perforated filter drum, the starch slurry is sucked onto the drum. Only water and air pass through the filter belt around the drum surface, depositing the solid starch on the filter belt. Next, the starch is further dewatered and discharged from the belt into a screw conveyor. The screw conveyor feeds a double big bag system. The big bags are filled up, detected by level sensors. In case one big bag is filled up completely, the conveyor starts moving in the other direction and starts filling the other big bag. Starch has an enormous impact on wastewater treatments as it has a very high COD load. A starch recovery system gives you the following benefits. A significant reduction of COD load will be realized. A significant reduction of wastewater output. A significant smaller wastewater treatment capacity is needed. Customer benefits. Water reuse. Contribution to sustainability. Efficient production process through continuous process water recycling high-end, fully automated starch recovery, efficient production process with many savings on cleaning costs, significant reduction and wastewater treatment costs, added value to waste, production quality, french fries and crisps will improve.